I'm Pam Dyson, and I'm the founder and the director of the St. Louis Center for Play Therapy Training. I'm here today with a play therapy tip. A dry erase board in my playroom gets used very often by children. Um, one of the ways that I encourage them to use it is to draw a picture of something that perhaps makes them angry. And, or when they're telling me about things that make them angry, they can scribble, scribble, scribble and get it all out. And what they really like is then being able to take that dry erase marker and being able to erase it and get rid of it. Finding ways to remove all that anger from inside and getting rid of it in that regard. However, sometimes a dry erase board this size is not very practical. For instance, if I'm working with a group or a family, we don't have room for everybody to have their individual dry erase board, especially if it's that large. So what I have found is a plastic melamine plate. You can usually find these for under $2 at discount department stores. I think this particular one I found at Target. And it's much like the surface of a dry erase board. You may even be able to find square ones, but I like this round one because it reminded me of the shape of a face. And if we're gonna talk about feelings, we could certainly kind of use this as a visual to talk about what it feels like inside of our heads when we have different feelings and what our face looks like when we have different feelings. So a child can use the same dry erase markers that they would use on a regular size dry erase board. And they can draw, for instance, we might wanna talk about what does it look like when you're feeling sad. So a child might draw the eyes, looks like my dry erase markers are getting a little dried out and we need to get some new ones. And maybe that's what it looks like. They might even put tears on it. And we would even be able to then to talk about what kind of things make them feel sad and then what can they do to cope when they have that sadness. And once again, they can use that dry erase, dry eraser and just wipe it right off. So an inexpensive um, dry erase board certainly could be very portable if you're a traveling play therapist and you go into schools or you go into people's homes. It would certainly be easier than toting around a large size one. So I hope you can find some of these inexpensive plates this time of year, springtime, going into summer, picnic wear. These um, plastic plates are usually pretty easy to find. So good luck to you on your search of finding dry erase um, boards that you can use that are made out of plates. Once again, I'm Pam Dyson with the St. Louis Center for Play Therapy Training. To learn more about play therapy training opportunities, go to www.stlplaytherapy.com.